Ciao, buongiorno or buonasera. In this video, I'm going to help you back for Sicily or Italy in general. First, I'll give you an idea of what the mentality is like when it comes to building in Italy. Then, I'll throw in a couple of tips and guidelines on what to wear. And by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Nico, 100% purebred Sicilian, Siciliano, Palermo resident, and founder of the WeArePanermo.com the most authentic guide made by Sicilians with love. Before we start, two important notes. First, everything I'm gonna tell you in this video only applies if you want to blend in with the locals, only if you want to fully immerse yourself in the local culture. But if you are one of those who says, I like to dress up as Batman, I'm gonna spend an entire week in Italy dressed like that, no one gets to tell me what I have to wear. Fine, nobody's forcing you to follow the local trend. Second, this is a lesson in Italian fashion, because I'm not the right person to do that. What I'm giving you is just my humble perspective as an Italian, as a someone who lives here. So be aware that I'll be generalizing in this video, I'll be talking in general terms about what I think the general mindset is. Of course, as in every other country on this planet, you will find all the shades of color. In Italy, like in any other country, you will find places where people dress up, places where people dress down, people who are meticulous about their appearance who want to look their best, or people like my dad who lives by the philosophy of eat, drink and screw everything and he will show up to a wedding in garden clothes if it weren't for my mom. So in this video I'll just be talking about the average. Cool, I hope that's clear. I don't read comments and been in Palermo, no one cares about their outfit or everybody dressed to the nines. It depends on the context, where you go, the people you hang out with, just like in any other country. Again, I hope that's clear. Having said that, let's get started. Allora, how important is clothing in Italy or in Sicily? Clothing is really important in Italy. In Italy, clothing says a lot about you and people put a lot of thought into their outfits, making sure that they communicate the right message and make a good impression. This is because in Italy, people are often judged based on their appearance. We live by the concept of bella figura, which basically means making a good impression. This is why we always try to look our best. Does this mean that you see people in the grocery store in fancy tuxedos? No, absolutely not. Italians just really care about putting together an outfit that looks good and fits the occasion with colors and textures that match. Italians are just more careful about not pairing things that, according to the Italian standards, which are not universal, could look out of place. For example, you won't often see Italians wearing sporty spongy socks with summer sandals because they should be reserved for sport shoes, or likewise sport shoes with swimwear, or classic slacks with this short sleeve t-shirts. Or you will rarely see Italians wearing flip-flops to a city center restaurant or shorts and tank tops at a bar. Clothes meant for specific contexts such as the beach aren't worn for a night out to dinner. So it's not so much about being fashionable, it's more about pairing your clothes well, making sure that they match each other and most importantly match the occasion you are in. This idea of trying to look your best and match your clothes well can vary in intensity depending on where you are in Italy. Cities like Milan or Florence have a stronger sense of fashion style, while in places like Sicily it's not as strong, but it's still there. In Sicily I would say that the style is pretty relaxed, but in the evening when people go out to restaurants, bars or clubs, they tend to dress up a bit more. Again, it's not as fancy as in big cities like Milan, but people still care about their appearance. Instead of being fancy, it's more about not wearing combinations that will look out of place or unkempt. So what does this mean for tourists visiting Italy? Do you have to stress about what to pack? <laughs> no at all, you have two options. Option one, you don't care about the local dress code or what locals think and you can even go to a restaurant in sleepers if you want. Worst thing that can happen is that locals label you as a foreigner, but <laughs> who cares, right? Option 2. Well, two. You try to fit in by following the local dress code, which is not about wearing fancy stuff as I said in the beginning. 
cleaning. You only do that if you want to blend in, fully immerse yourself with the local culture and not seek out as a tourist and not because you have to make Italians happy. All right, now let's talk about a couple of tips that could help you blend in and avoid looking like a tourist. Just to be clear, these are just my personal thoughts. I was born in Italy and have lived in different places. So from my experience of comparing different cultures, maybe I may have noticed some patterns that I like to share. But these aren't set in stone. So if you have some observation to add, feel free to leave a comment. The first tip to remember is to always fit in with the context. Never step outside of context. What do I mean by this? It's not typical to show up at the city center restaurant wearing swimsuit and flip-flops. Workout clothes like sweatsuits and running shoes should be reserved for the gym or the stadium, not the bar. Makeup and jewelry are more appropriate for the restaurant and not for the beach. Black leather pants are for the club, not for morning coffee. Basically, try to match your outfit to the setting. The second tip is to ensure that your clothing is consistent. This means that Italians rarely mix items from different environments. For instance, they will wear gym socks with summer sandals, sport shoes with formal attire, summer clothes with winter boots, or beach tank tops with pants. In Italy, these are unusual combinations that people don't typically wear and can easily give away a person as a foreigner. The third thing to keep in mind is to not overdo it. Wearing too much makeup, too much perfume or cologne, too many jewelry, flashy clothes that don't match, bright colors that clash, sunglasses at a club, big brand names or your clothing, or too many sparkles can be seen as tacky. In Sicily, we use the word tasho to describe this. Italians in the US often use the word widow to describe this type of person, if I'm correct. And the fourth thing to keep in mind is that as the night goes on, Italians tend to dress up more. Let's say that from happy hour on, aperitivo on, people start paying more attention to what they are wearing. During the day, except for jobs that require certain attire, people tend to be more relaxed. But at night, people are meticulous about their appearance. The last thing, people from middle age and up tend to steer clear of overly sporty or trendy clothing. They tend to dress more conservatively because they feel silly otherwise. Again, <laughs> these are not universal rules and just because Italians do it, it doesn't mean it's right. People everywhere have their own views and this is just the general view in Italy. Okay, now let's look at some examples of what you might wear based on different situations during your trip to Sicily. Number one, sightseeing. This is pretty simple. Dress comfortably and however you like. Just remember that inside churches you need to have that modest attire. So show as little skin as possible. Number two, beach. Everybody wears flip-flops, both men and women. Not sport shoes. Women wear sundresses with a swimsuit underneath. Big beach bags and no makeup. Men wear swim trunks and a t-shirt which should be taken off from the beach and put back on when leaving. Although some may go shirtless in restaurants near the beach, just know that it's considered tacky. Number three, dinner, aperitivo or a bar. It depends on the place, of course, but people try to look their best. To avoid standing out, go for a casual look, but avoid athletic wear. Think of it as a dress down chic. Women often like to show their femininity, so you'll see them wearing heels, booties, evening sandals or stylish sneakers. They have well-planned outfits, whether it's a dress, skirt or pants. And same goes for men, dressed in pants, jeans, shirts or sweaters with a focus on a well put together look. Just remember, don't wear clothes meant for other contexts. Lastly, if you're going to a club or a dancing bar, just know that the rule is to dress up. Women wear heels or even in sandals, makeup and dress to the nines. The same goes for men, they usually wear nice shirts. And remember that many beach clubs are also kind of fancy, so if you don't have appropriate attire, the bouncer will let you in. That's it. Grazie mille. Ci vediamo presto. Ciao.